Yo, what's up? Oh, is that too far? It's probably too far from my mic. Yo, what's up? All the sounds used in the song come from various kits provided by the kit plug. I'll have those links in the description. Today, we're making a track like Jaden Smith. I'm going for a sound like the song Ghost or Chatao off of his new album, Iris. Jaden Christopher Cyrus Smith, also known simply as Jaden, is a rapper, songwriter, actor, entertainer, and overall visionary from Malibu, California. Little known fact, he is the son of beloved actors Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. From an early age, the Smiths always recorded and made home movies with Jaden and made him very comfortable in front of the camera. As he got older, Jaden acted in movies like Pursuit of Happiness, The Day the Earth Stood Still, and of course, The Karate Kid. The Karate Kid is special in this case because it wasn't just his first time as a main character in a film, but it was also his debut into the music industry with his feature on Justin Bieber's song Never Say Never. A few years later, he would keep at his music and release a string of mixtapes called the Cool Tapes. It's the coolest of the coolest, it's the smoothest of the smoothest, it's the crudest and the rudest of the stupid. After 2014, he did lay low for some time musically, but in 2017, he announced Sire, which came out swinging with music videos for Watch Me, Batman, and Icon. On top of his music, he was also working on his collective misfits, his brand of water called Just Water, and starring in many films and TV shows like The Get Down and the best anime of all time, Neo Yokio. Okay, so this section of the video is a bit on the cheating side because I used a sample, also provided by the kit plug. I'm using their VHS loop kit. Here's a sample. Off the bat, it has more of a Travis Scott or a Killy vibe to it, so I loaded it into Fruity Slicer and changed up a few things. I wanted the sample to be a little bit faster, give it a similar bop to Jaden's song, Ghost. I also pitched it down 400 cents and up the attack to give it this cool fade in effect. Here's what it sounds like so far. I added a few effects to it as well, took out some lows with an EQ, added some mid frequencies, sound goodizer, delay, and reverb. I also used this fuzzy bass sound from Ultra Analog Session for certain parts of the track. I used a low pass EQ, sound goodizer, and stereo shaper. I also changed the arrangement of the sample when putting it into the track. I sectioned the sample off into three parts, sections A, B, and C. Section A has this nice high tone, section B has these cool bass hits, and section C is like section A, but it's an octave lower. I mainly alternated between sections A and C every eight bars, starting with section C. I used section B for the breaks in between the main verses. I used some really punchy drums, also provided by the kit plug, and laid down a fast-paced, high-energy pattern. I added some compression and soft clipper to the kick to make it punch. I layered these two hi-hats together. I also added this flanger effect to them. I did the same thing to the open hi-hat. I used this punchy snare, this perk sound, and finally I used the snare clap sound for some variation every other bar. The 808 is really low and booming and follows the kick pattern. I added Decapitator to make it a little beefier. Here's the beat. A 
lot of Jaden's lyrics come off a bit braggadocious, usually talking about jewelry, expensive cars, and most importantly, his accomplishments, setting himself apart from his contemporaries. He also tends to name drop and shout out his collective misfits. He also has those infamous bars about dirty dishes. Rich kids hate nothing more than chores. I've also noticed on his new album, he hits a few similar flows and cadences to a more life era Drake, even saying phrases like head tops. He also likes to use this heavily distorted high energy ad libs when topping off his verses. Real talk. I feel like Jaden gets a lot more flack than he deserves, mostly because people find him a bit too fake woke or fake deep. He thinks that he's so unique and he's so profound and he's so special and that he's really just trailblazing. But the price you pay for that always is a stunning lack of self-awareness. Which I totally understand. And personally, I think he's aware of that. We gotta make the song called Icon. And I was like, Honestly, it doesn't really feel like me. I don't know if I should make that song. It feels kind of like pretentious. I, I don't know. The song is made for people to sing. It's mm. not made to be in the context of always me. It's made for people, right, young kid, right. just throw a touchdown. I'm just an icon living. But if you do examine his discography, he has polished his sound and grown a lot since he started. He's got his own visual aesthetic and he does make some sonically pleasing tracks. I just want him to focus in on his artistic identity. He sounds too similar to his contemporaries to me. But hey, if he continues to make songs like Blue or Pink or Ghost or Icon, I really don't have that much to complain about. Hey, thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, as a reward, here is a sneak peek at my new EP. Maya, I got troubles on my mind, yeah. I look back, I'm losing time, yeah. Make sure my children can get it. I'm independent like Chancellor Bennett. Trying to make way in the lane I invented. I don't show my face, but I'm still photogenic. People know me on the net, but they don't know me in my town. I'm the best up in my city. I'm a king without a crown. Don't you...